Today on South Walton Fishing Adventures. I'm Captain Jody on the Graydon Girl. We're here at Graydon Beach. We've got Kyle and Martin on the boat with us today. Fish on. I was. Oh, no. they just love me today, don't they? That's dinner. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a live well right here. That's what we want. Football side. Oh, fish on. Fish on. In South Walton, Florida, it's hard not to be drawn to the diverse waterways from the Gulf of Mexico and the Choctahatchee Bay to the rare coastal dune lakes. So come take a ride as colorful locals cast a line and share their passions on all the onshore activities that make this area such a vibrant destination. Welcome to South Walton Fishing Adventures. I'm Captain Jody on the Graydon Girl. We're here at Graydon Beach. Uh, we're going out to go fishing for triggerfish, mingo snapper, vermilion snapper. Weather's pretty. Looking forward to a good day all on the water. We've got Kyle and Martin on the boat with us today. Kyle owns Louie Louie restaurant over in Santa Rosa Beach. Great place to go eat. I'm Kyle Petit. I'm one of the owners here at Louie Louie's in Santa Rosa Beach. I'm also a chef by trade. Well, Louie Louie is a family-run operation. We are actually third generation in the restaurant business, and on any given night, you can find one, two, or three generations of our family working here. The idea about um, having family in the restaurant means that when you come to see us, you're a guest in our home, and we want you to feel that way every time you eat here. We operate on a simple principle. We only serve about five things. They're fresh as locally sourced as we can get, and um, executed well and consistently every day. About to make it here to our first spot. We're going to try to catch us a few trigger fish. Try to stay in here a little bit closer so it's not so choppy on everybody. We may have to run offshore here in a little bit, but hopefully right here we'll be able to catch a few right here on the beach. So y'all uh, just keep your thumb on it while you're letting it down. Just count to about eight or 10. Just slow count. Just go ahead and go. Yeah, boy, they're here. I don't know. We'll see here in a minute. Uh, nice oh, a little trigger. I believe that will make it. Maybe. Go, go. Oh, shit. You got to be 15 inches to the fork of the tail, and you can have one per person on, on the trigger fish. <laughs> There you go. Oh, that was right on top. Yep, I see something. I think they got your bait, didn't they? Mm, he didn't get it yet. Beautiful day out on the water. Trying to get some dinner. Hopefully we get a big trigger. Oh, well, Jody is the first captain that ever took me out many years ago now uh, fishing, and so he is, he's been in Grayton forever. His family is generational in Grayton Beach, and um, so he's very experienced with where the reefs are, where the fish are, are hiding from us, and, and where he you know, can find a good little honey hole and catch some good fish. The great thing about fishing with a charter captain such as Jody is that you don't have to have a fishing license. Uh, you don't have to own your own fishing equipment. You don't have to have a boat. You can show up at the beach and, and ride right out there and um, you know enjoy a beautiful day on the water with very little effort. As soon as it hits the bottom, flip it in gear and come up a couple, or just start coming up. You should have them on there. Right, right off the bottom. <laughs> Not big enough to keep though, unfortunately. They're here. They just seem like the little ones get it before a big one can get it. It's beautiful out here. Wind just lay down a little bit, sunny, not a cloud in the sky. I don't think it can get better than this. It's okay. Ah, oh, they just love me today, don't they? No, they What's this that. one? Can I can one. keep that. Is that yeah. a vermilion or? Yeah. I'm sorry, honey, sorry. It's I'm okay. always doing that. We got fish on too. We got the keeper. There we go. Put him in a fish on. I wait. Oh, we're gonna be catching some big fish with uh, this bait now. 
plan. That's the plan, Stan. Did you get a fish on? Yeah. Act like a trigger. I believe he'll make it. Hey, baby. Mm. Right you ready? Trigger, trigger, trigger. Stay tuned for more fun from South Walton Fishing Adventures. To learn more about South Walton, go to visitsouthwalton.com. Located on Northwest Florida's Gulf Coast, South Walton is continually recognized as a premier destination. From grand beach houses overlooking the Gulf of Mexico to cozy romantic cottages, South Walton has a wide variety of beach accommodations, ideal for the perfect vacation for two or 20 people. There are also full service resorts to pamper you, family friendly hotels to keep you comfortable, and campsites and RV resorts to get you close to nature. All right, well here in South Walton County, we are blessed to have many locally owned restaurants um, and very few chains. As a matter of fact, we try our best to make sure that we prioritize local businesses here, um, which gives you a great opportunity to go out any night of the week and experience a dining experience that is unique to South Walton community. We have an array of dining experiences available too, and most of them offer you fresh quality seafood from the Gulf of Mexico. One thing that's very unique to the South Walton dining scene is that you can show up to dinner in your prom dress or your flip flops, and it doesn't matter. We're happy to have you here. There's a charm here. There you go. Get on those There we go. No, it's another little. Oh, one got off right there. The yeah, top. I had two of them on. That's a, one, That's a nice one right there. Yeah. Vermilion. It's a year-round catcher. You, you, they're they're basically about like a red snapper, except they're a little sweeter meat, a little finer. I think um, they're delicious. They are delicious. They are absolutely delicious. Something's on, but yeah, I don't. not anymore. Keep on coming. Don't stop. Oh, Still on there. It's on there. It's for a million. Oh, and I got too excited again, as usual. Oh, oh shoot. sorry. Catch him, catch him, catch him. Keep the flipper away. Oh, shoot, I think. Come on, brother. Catch him. Ooh. Oh, red. Oh, I thought he was a big mingo. And one is mango. Put him in the live wheel, Mike. Yeah. There we go, I got two. Four million. That's how, awesome. That's called fishing right here. That's good fishing. That's called. I still have bait this on the This flipper over here, though. Economical. Yeah. Fishing. Yeah, I'm afraid it's going to be red snappers, guys. We're going to have to get away from here. Sorry, I just got one on. I got to get it off. I know. It looks like a snapper. Yeah. He's going to pull him off. Porpoise. That's a nice mingo. Oh, that's wait. not. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's, that's vermilion. Is... That's dinner. Nice. <laughs> uh, we got a dolphin on us right now, and uh, he's pretty bad about eating our red snapper, so we're going to try to get away from him. We don't want to feed him too much, uh, so we're going to have to make a pretty good little long run to get away from him. All right, well, I did grow up in the Midwest. Um, I had family in Wisconsin, Minnesota, Northern Illinois, um, where we're blessed with many, many lakes and a lot of great freshwater fishing. Um, something that you do as a child growing up there is you learn how to hold a rod and a reel and you fish. I mean, it's something to do after school. It's something to do with your grandma. Um, my grandma used to take me out on the pontoon all the time and we'd catch sunnies and trout and bass if we were lucky enough. <laughs> um, and it was just really fun a fun way to spend the day and be outdoors, especially when you grow up in an area where you do have winters, you appreciate your time on the water very much. And uh, I'm a water girl, so. Um, coming down here to South Walton, I had never been fishing out on, you know, big open water like that before. And, and my first time out there, I was just literally, for lack of a better term, hooked. I love it. It's just so much fun. We'll be right back with more South Walton fishing adventures. Grayton Beach is just one of South Walton, Florida's 16 world-famous beach neighborhoods. Bustling with an eclectic, laid-back energy, Grayton Beach is home to art galleries, quirky restaurants, and the undisturbed natural beauty of Grayton Beach State Park. 
one of three beachfront state parks in South Walton. South Walton Fishing Adventures is brought to you by the Choctahatchee Basin Alliance inspires water stewardship through education, research, monitoring, and restoration. Learn more at basinalliance.org. The reason that I moved to Walton County was to come and work as a chef at a local ski school. The Cory Picos World uh, Ski and Wake Center is right across the street from Louis Louis. Basically, the most important part of my life outside of the restaurant and of course my family. Water skiing is what keeps me healthy, it's what keeps me sane. I grew up water skiing on the Fox River and on lakes in Wisconsin. I was a show skier from age 9 to 19. And I've kept up with water skiing, you know, as a hobby for my entire life. But after my children were about age 9, I started to compete again. Um, I went from, I mean, this is a testament to how great these coaches are across the street. I went from nobody to nationals. And then a few years later, you know, I made it to Worlds. And, you know, and I remember thinking, oh, I wish I could be ranked number 20 in the United States. And, and this year, um, I got a surprise and I was ranked number 15 in the world. <laughs> and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. But um, it's a great opportunity when you make these big tournaments to go back and, and meet with people that don't live in these countries. And, and or don't live in our country any longer and 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 we get to see each other it's like a big reunion you know because we grew up competing against each other and it's been a great experience for my children they're growing up in a very international community um, they know people from all over the world and it's thanks to the sport of water skiing go 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 yep fish on <laughs> I don't know if it's big enough. I don't think he quite made it. Toss him or measure him? Let me see him. Let me look at him real quick. I love their little teeth. Did he get my bait? That's right at 15. That's 15 inches. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I hope I didn't catch the same little guy. <laughs> nope, this one's a little bigger. Nice. Oh, I believe that'll make it. That one's definitely. <laughs> Trigger fish. That won't go down. You pull that thing right behind it, it lets it down. That's why they call him a trigger. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Trigger, trigger, trigger. And he is 15 inches. Good deal. Maybe a little over. I think we got our limit on trigger. Now I always think that like people come down here and they want to catch, you know, they want the snapper, they want the trigger, they want, you know, the kings, but they forget that there are all these other little fish out here that are just that are delicious. Just I mean, they're too. not like the big ticket, like, you know, I look at this monster that I caught, but if you're looking to eat well, there's plenty of other fish out here to That's have. That's very true. Very, very true. That's a good, good point. I'm point, never right? disappointed if I can right. put it in a pan. <laughs> Whoa, boy, he hit it. It's gonna be one of those small guys again, I think. Oh, something else. There you after go. it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dolphin. Uh, that's gonna be a live well right here. Go back down there. Go back, back down. down. There we go. Sometimes they'll just get started all of a sudden and they'll start biting. There we go. It's a nice one, too. Look at that. Oh, swing your motor. All right. Sorry. Thanks. Did you get my fish? You got my fish, but that's it. That was another vermilion. Nice big one, though. He he bit the top hook, or at least my fish is gone. I can't 
say what it feels like for some of these guys that go out there and, and you know get a fish on the hook. Uh, but for me personally, I'm not that big of a girl. And so the first thought that goes through my head when I feel that hook up is, oh my gosh, please don't pull me over. <laughs> you know, let me let me dip the line in and sort of you know take my time and reel it in. And and then when you see that fish starting to surface, you know, you get that flash of light and you see it start to come out of the water, that's when it gets really exciting because you're like, what do I have? You know, what is on my line? Is it a shark? I hope not. Nah, we never have those. But one time I did catch an eel, that was interesting. It scared the heck out of me. <laughs> A fighter. Yeah, that's a big mango. A little mangrove snapper, maybe? Uh, that looks like a little. That's what we want. Yeah. Football size. Nice. Going back down. If you're thinking about coming down here and visiting our beautiful beaches in South Walton, I would highly recommend doing a day trip like this or a half day with one of our local captains in these smaller charter boats. Um, these guys are super knowledgeable. I'm not the most experienced fisherwoman. I'm having the time of my life catching fish about every time I drop the line in. Um, and it's because we have a great captain and great crew to help us do so. Um, if you've never been out really far here, you can still see the shore. You're not really, you know, gonna be in any danger of feeling any seasickness or whatever. We'll be right back with more South Walton Fishing Adventures. South Walton Fishing Adventures is brought to you by The Choctahatchee Basin Alliance improves swimmable and fishable waterways in our community. Learn more at basinalliance.org. Grayton Beach to me is home. Um, it is really kind of the reason that I came to this area. I met um, the person I started my family with down here and it's where I began my career in the restaurant industry. I was married on Grayton Beach. Um, to the Red Bar Jazz Band, <laughs> it was my processional. They brought the whole jazz band down, including Jabba with his drums, and, and played my processional on the beach. It was kind of fun. And that's one of those funky things that you see down here. Like, people showed up to that ceremony in bikinis just to watch what was going on, you know? Um, but Grayton has a heart and soul, and it's, it's a very historical community. As a matter of fact, um, it's the first beach community in this area to be um, on the historical registry. Um, the Red Bar, our other restaurant in Grayton Beach, is on the registry. It was built in 1890 and it was a general store for um, some of the Coast Guard command that was stationed in the barracks there. And some of those old little salt box cottages that still stand, um, that are on the registry as well, were the barracks for the soldiers that used to ride the horses up and down to patrol the beaches. Let's see what we have here. Fighter. Red snapper. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, wow. Please stay on the line. What a nice baby. Yeah. Good. Aw, sweetheart left me bait. Is that cigar man? Yeah. Let's stop it here and make one more quick stop, see if we can get an amberjack to bite. Yum. We'll go grab some lunch. All right, now we're trying to catch amberjack, and uh, they're little fighters. And I might be small and scrappy, but I'll tell you what, one of these is probably capable of pulling me over the side of the boat <laughs> if I'm not careful. So hopefully we'll catch one though. It's good to eat and they're fun to fish. Oh, fish on, fish on. And this is a little honey hole over here. Nice. I love fishing. Yeah, it's uh, 
Could have been better, as I said earlier. I think Martin might have me beat, but uh, we caught quite a few. I'm not going to say I'm breaking any world records on size, but we've caught in a lot of fish. Okay, we're uh, going to wrap it up here. Had a good morning. Gonna go in and get some lunch, get these fish cleaned up for these people. We've had a great day. We caught a bunch of vermilion and trigger fish. Which are really good to eat. We'll have a nice little ride in. Looks like it's gonna be nice and calm. I'm already like working on my ceviche recipe. There you go. Mm -hmm. He's sitting in the office and, and doing work for sure. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Nice office you have here, Captain. It is a nice office. Yeah. You have a different view every day too. It, it don't wasn't you? that dusty today at my office. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't too dusty. Whenever I ride back into shore after a day of fishing, I like to sit right at the front of the boat. And um, as a child, my dad would always let me ride at the front of the boat when he'd open up the engine. And I just love the wind in your face and, and that like exhilarating feeling of just freshness, you know. Um, coming in from the Gulf to Grayton Beach, uh, we get to sometimes we travel a little bit further, so we'll be like almost as far as Inlet Beach and I get to see all of the beaches of South Walton, that white strip of sand, and kind of enjoy the beauty of the homes that have been built there. Um, they do a really good job when they do construction here in, in South Walton County of making things blend into the nature of our area. And so you see like the white dunes and you'll see a house peeking out over the dune. It's, it's unbelievable with that, that, that you'll see the sandbars, the gradation of the, the blues from the water, I mean, it's one of my favorite things to do, honestly. It makes like all the hard work and fishing and stink and blood completely worth it. Maybe your family would like to experience an adventure of their own. If so, head on over to visitsouthwalton.com to start planning your trip. And we'll see you here next time for more South Walton fishing adventures.